The Supreme Court of Pakistan sought a summary by Monday, March 28th of decisions reserved by the military courts from the country's Attorney General, Mansoor Usman Awan. The court said it should be informed regarding the status of the accused to determine how many can be acquitted. Pakistani military authorities are holding 103 civilians who they tried and tortured into confessions, according to one of the multiple defense attorneys. Military trials of civilians are a violation of Pakistan's constitution as well as international conventions the country is a signatory to. Former Prime Minister Imran Khan and Shah Mahmood Qureshi's cipher conviction case took place in Islamabad High Court today. Justice Mia Gulhas and Aurangzeb questioned state prosecutors on, quote, how enemies could take advantage of attacks which no one knows about, unquote. Imran Khan and Shah Mahmood's defense lawyers have argued that the cipher was never presented in the court. Imran Khan continues to be in solitary confinement inside the Ajala jail for the 233rd day. 12 million people fell into poverty during the last financial year which ended in June, according to a World Bank report cited by the Wall Street Journal. The Wall Street Journal reported on record inflation and soaring energy prices under the PDM government and said the middle class was being erased. The paper cited data from the tenure of Imran Khan's government where at least 30% of the people were close to a global middle class standards set by economists. Pakistan's economic instability will continue as the country's political turmoil increases, with Imran Khan's mandate being brazenly stolen. Pakistanis throughout the world paid tribute to Imran Khan on the 32nd anniversary of the only one-day International World Cup victory. Mr Khan led Pakistan to an implorable victory in the 1992 Cricket World Cup, a proud moment etched in the memory of Pakistanis. Social media users praised Mr Khan's inspirational leadership while lamenting the state of affairs in the country, where an iconic figure who made a name for the country is unjustly incarcerated. The Khyber Pakhtun Khwa government, where Imran Khan's PTI governs, will send 100 million rupees of aid for the people of Gaza. Chief Minister Ali Amin Gandapur has announced rupees 100 million in aid for the oppressed people of Gaza, a statement from barrister Dr. Muhammad Ali Saif, his special assistant on information and public relations, said on Saturday. The death toll in Gaza since October 7, 2023, has surged to over 32,000 people, many of them women and children, as Israel continues its relentless air and ground military offensives against the people of the densely populated territory.